Trooping the Color is a much-loved annual event that sees members of the royal family come out in force for a morning of pomp and pageantry and this year was no exception. All eyes had been on King Charles to see how his first birthday parade as sovereign went, and the event went seamlessly as he introduced a few subtle changes into the proceedings. It was marvelous to see a monarch parading on horseback and was reminiscent of the late Queen's younger years. The decision to get back in the saddle was a smart move by the King, as it showcased his impressive fitness at the age of 74 and brought fresh excitement to the parade. He also managed to perfectly navigate a tricky situation, as his Canadian steed Noble appeared to get quite bullshy at times. The mare jerked and pulled at the king's reins but none of it seemed to faze Charles, who carried on as normal and managed to get the horse under control. Equine experts suggested not just any rider would have been able to cope with the horse acting as it did and it could have easily ended in disaster. But gone are the days of the hot-headed King Charles seen in the aftermath of his mother's death as the monarch appeared to adopt the well-known phrase, keep calm and carry on. Having Prince William, Prince Edward and Princess Anne follow behind him also proved a powerful message, that the king is not alone and has a strong support base in other senior working royals. But the trio weren't the only ones to impress the public however, with Queen Camilla wearing a striking military-style dress that highlighted her own military ties. It also served as a subtle reminder that she is the king's strength and stay, with the matching attire showing that the couple is very much in step with each other. Don't miss! Fans go wild for Queen Camilla's military-inspired red silk Fiona Clare dress, in sight. Prince Louis wore red shorts to trooping the color today for specific reason, spotlight, Meghan Markle could become online influencer as podcast deal ends, says expert, latest, Kate, the Princess of Wales, sat beside the Queen and looked gorgeous in a bright green dress that served as a fitting tribute to her role as Colonel of the Irish Guards. But it was the youngsters who stole the show, with five-year-old Prince Louis returning to his cheeky antics by pulling faces, waving and reacting with sheer joy as the RAF fly-past went over the Buckingham Palace balcony. The balcony looked rather empty when compared to the royal family's previous appearance just over a month earlier for the coronation. The King and Queen were joined by the Wales family. Princess Anne and Sir Timothy Lawrence, the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester and the Duke of Kent. The reduced number further serves to highlight the King's desire for a slimmed-down monarchy, as well as highlighting his immediate heirs in Prince William and Prince George. King Charles's overriding message from his first official birthday parade appears to be stability and continuity. It's not been an easy year for the firm, having lost a beloved family member and monarch of over 70 years, as well as grappling with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's repeated public attacks against them. But by putting the hard-working senior working royals on show a powerful message is made, that no matter what is thrown at them they're here to serve and most importantly, duty comes first.